Helen Sharman, first British astronaut and operations manager at Imperial College London. <laughs> When you're on board a space station, orbiting the Earth, feeling weightless, it is the most natural, relaxing feeling you can imagine. I remember just floating in the air, not touching anything. I couldn't feel, you know, you, you, you forget what it's like to sit down and feel the seat beneath you or to stand up. And if you think about it, when you are standing up, you can actually feel the pressure of the floor beneath your feet. I forgot what that was like. Um, I could do some salts. You know, just keep going round and round and round. And that weightless feeling is just so, so natural and relaxing. It feels as though people have been born in space. I think humans are very adaptive and that's nice. Um, the views out of the windows are just absolutely amazing. The views of the Earth and then when you look the other way and just see the stars, they're oh, fantastic. And I really remember that camaraderie, the, the crew and the relationships between the astronauts and very, very close feeling of friendship. And um, I really enjoyed that. My experiments were a whole range of different types of experiments and some of them were looking at the Earth and actually measuring the colours of certain parts of the Earth's surface and from that we can work out the amount of salt or the amount of plankton that might be in the sea for instance. So really interesting kind of just looking at the Earth in that respect. Um, I grew crystals that you can't grow on Earth, crystals of protein. Um, I made different materials. Um, I put some materials outside the space station. That was one of my favourite experiments because I could use a special airlock to put them outside and then look at them how they'd reacted to that when they came back into the space station. And of course I was looking at my own body and the bodies of the other cosmonauts taking samples of blood, looking at how we were adapting to spaceflight uh, and really trying to grow plants. Um, I grew some um, little potato roots, some, um, some wheat seedlings as well. So we're looking at how one day we'll be able to grow our own food in space. I love answering the question about how do toilets in space work because there's so much really interesting stuff in the toilet. Um, you flush a toilet with not water but with air in space. You can imagine if you flush with water you get drops spurting all over the place. So we have really a, like a funnel and when you want to use the toilet you turn on a switch and air starts to be sucked through the funnel and then anything you do around that area because the air is moving in that one direction anything that you do moves in that flow of air through the funnel and it's all collected down a tube into a big container. And then because we don't want to waste anything in space, we clean the contents of that container. So we separate the solids from the liquids. Then we take the liquids and we clean those through a number of different processes into water. Water that's clean enough to drink if we want to. But I like the best bit. Of course, water is H2O. It's made of hydrogen and oxygen. Now, we don't need the hydrogen, but the oxygen. Really useful to breathe that as part of the air. So having been to the toilet, collected everything, separated it into water, we then electrolyzed the water. So we made electricity just go through that water, separates the hydrogen from the oxygen. We vented the hydrogen into space, but the oxygen we mixed with the rest of the air. So I breathed in what I'd put into the toilet. <laughs> I have visited uh, more than 100 countries. 